Hello everyone, now let us discuss about CPT coding guidelines for radiology part 4. In the current session, we will be focusing on diagnostic ultrasound, pelvis, non-obstetrical and extremities. Now coming to non-obstetrical pelvic examination. Non-obstetrical pelvic examination is of two types, complete and limited. The specific code for complete pelvic examination non-obstetrical is 76856 and the code for limited pelvic exam is 76857. We all know that in order to assign a complete note, first we have to note down what are the elements that are necessary to assign that particular note. So in order to code 76856, the elements for complete examination or evaluation of male pelvis are as follows. You need to have a detailed description regarding the urinary bladder, evaluation of prostate and seminal vesicles to an extent that they are visualized transabdominally and any associated pelvic pathology, for example, bladder tumor, enlarged prostate, free pelvic fluid and pelvic abscess. These are some of the elements that are required for complete evaluation of male pelvis. And one more important point is the code 76856 is used for both evaluation of male pelvis and female pelvis. Now coming to the elements for complete female pelvic examination. You need to have description and measurement of uterus and adnexal structures, measurement of the endometrium, measurement of the bladder whenever applicable and description of any pelvic pathology. For example, ovarian cyst, uterine fibroids or leomyomata, free pelvic fluid, etc. Now coming to the elements that are required for assessment or assignment of 76857, which is nothing but limited pelvic examination code. So in order to assign 76857, you need to have these following elements. Focused examination limited to the assessment of one or more elements that are listed in 76856 or re-evaluation of one or more pelvic abnormalities previously demonstrated on ultrasound. That is, for the follow-up visits also, you need to assign limited code. Re-evaluation of one or more pelvic abnormalities that are previously demonstrated on ultrasound. There are two important notes under this code. First note is, code 76770 should be utilized if the urinary bladder alone not including the kidneys is imaged. If only urinary bladder alone is imaged via ultrasound, you need to assign 76770. And similarly, codes 51798 should be utilized if bladder volume or post void residual measurements is obtained without imaging the bladder. These are the two notes under this code. Now let us discuss the description of various codes. First code is 76830, which is nothing but ultrasound transvaginal. It is non-obstetrical. For the ultrasound transvaginal obstetrical, you need to assign 76817. Next code is 76831, saline infusion sonohysterography SIS, including color flow Doppler when performed. And for the introduction of saline for SIS, you need to use additional code 58340. The next code is 76856. The description is ultrasound pelvic with image documentation complete. And similarly 76857, ultrasound pelvic with image documentation limited or for follow up. So these are the description for various codes pelvic non-obstetrical. Let us discuss examples. A 45-year-old male patient presents to the clinic for follow-up of bladder mass that was diagnosed on previous visit. Physician orders ultrasound of pelvis. What is the appropriate CPT for this scenario? Here, he is coming for the re-evaluation of bladder mass that was diagnosed on the previous visit. So, for re-evaluation or follow-up, you need to assign 76857, ultrasound pelvic with image documentation limited or follow-up. 
Let us discuss one more example. A 37 year old female patient presents with PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. The physician orders complete pelvic ultrasound, transabdominal. What is the appropriate CPT? The answer is 76856. Ultrasound pelvic with image documentation complete. By this, we complete the codes of ultrasound pelvic non obstetrical. Now coming to the diagnostic ultrasound codes for genitalia. First code is 76870, ultrasound scrotum and contents. The next code is 76872, ultrasound transrectal. Next is 76873, prostate volume study for brachytherapy treatment planning separate procedure. Do not report 76872 in conjunction with 45341. 45342, 45391, 45392, 46948, and 04210619. So these are some of the contradictory codes that should not be coded along with 76872 ultrasound transrectal. Now coming to the diagnostic ultrasound of extremities. Even for extremities, there are two codes, complete and limited. The complete code is 76881 and the CPT for limited code is 76882. Now coming to 76881, let us discuss what are all the elements that are required to assign 76881. Complete ultrasound of extremities. Code 76881 represents a complete evaluation of a specific joint in extremity. It requires ultrasound examination of all the following joint elements. For example, joint space, periarticular soft tissue structures that surround the joint, example muscles, tendon or other soft tissue structures, any additional identifiable abnormality and under certain cases additional evaluation such as dynamic imaging and manuals may also be performed in addition to 76881. So these are the elements that are needed to be addressed in order to code 76881. And like any other ultrasound code, 76881 requires permanently recorded images and a written report containing description of each required element or reason that a particular element could not be visualized. Now coming to the next code, limited. Ultrasound extremities limited 76882. Code 76882 represents a limited evaluation of a joint or an evaluation of a structure in an extremity other than that of joint. Limited evaluation of a joint or any structure in an extremity other than joint. Example soft tissue mass, fluid collection or nerve etc. Limited evaluation of joint includes assessment of a specific anatomical structure that is joint space only or tendon only or particular muscle or other soft tissue structures that surround a joint. That is any one specific anatomical structure is described then you have to quote limited quote and for spectral and color Doppler evaluation of the extremities, you need to use additional codes 93925, 93926, 93930, 93931, 93970, and 93971. Like the previous code, 76882 also requires permanently recorded image and a written report containing description of each eval element that is evaluated. Because this is a limited code, all elements need not be covered. But the particular element which is evaluated, it must be recorded and it should be written in a report. Now let us discuss various quotes and their descriptions. 76881, ultrasound complete joint, example joint space, periarticular structures, real time with image documentation. Coming to the description of 76882, ultrasound limited. 881 is ultrasound complete whereas 76882 is ultrasound limited. Joint or other non-vascular structures, joint space, periarticular tendon, muscle, nerve or other soft tissue structures or soft tissue masses. Next coming to other code 76885. 
ultrasound infant hips 76885 is a pediatric code ultrasound infant hips real time with image documentation dynamic dynamic is nothing but it requires physician or other qualified healthcare professional manipulation coming to next code 76886 ultrasound infant hips real time image documentation real time with image documentation limited and static limited and static means not requiring static indicates not requiring physician or other qualified healthcare professional manipulation so these are the various codes of ultrasound extremities now let us discuss an example a 45 year old patient presents with baker cyst in right knee physician orders a complete ultrasound of knee what is the appropriate code the code is 76881 complete joint evaluation ultrasound complete joint joint space periarticular structures real time with image documentation by this we complete the cpt codes for extremities thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and cpc training